Toyota famously said that in 2020, all of its electric cars would have solid state batteries. They then said that in 2021, they all would. Then in 2022, then recently, just last year, Toyota told us its EVs would basically destroy everyone else. They would be revolutionary. They wouldn't be using crappy BYD blade battery packs. Now, uh, you sound like I'm, I sound like I'm being a douche there, but the truth is that's what Toyota said. Toyota said BYD's batteries were too inferior, not good enough for the company. I'm not making that up. They literally, I can't believe they said that. It's insane. But they said a few months after that, that they would manufacture solid state batteries for their EVs in 2026. Well, now they've changed it to 2028. Um, now a new report has come out exposing the fact that Toyota has been lying about all this, just making stuff up to appease investors. And while actually mass production, if it, if it ever happens, will be limited many years, many, many years from now. Even Toyota are saying these reports are true. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Guys, I know there's a lot of people who hate Tesla. I know there's a lot of people who believe that Elon Musk um, is lying or exaggerating. But come on, are you being fair? I'm genuinely asking the question. Are you being fair? Are you applying the same brush to everyone equally? Because I don't think you are. If you don't also hate Toyota, do you hate Toyota? If you don't also hate General Motors or Ford, they're all lying constantly. They're all making things up to appease investors constantly. I mean, none of them have come close, anywhere remotely close to matching their claims. People said the Cybertruck was vaporware. Well, Tesla finally make it and people say they move on to saying something else is vaporware. So I think we should just move away from this kind of concept that it's reasonable to judge one person or one company in a certain way and another company in a completely different way. A lot of people are just giving Toyota this big pass here. Oh, it's Toyota. It doesn't matter if they say it. It doesn't matter what promises they make. It doesn't matter if they tell investors all these lies. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Toyota's solid state battery mass production will be limited even in 2030. Now, you can't even actually call it mass production if it's limited. Then it's um, it doesn't, doesn't mean it's being mass produced if it's limited. The first so-called batch of solid state batteries for Toyota will be enough to supply a couple of thousand vehicles. Now, considering that Toyota currently sell over 10 million cars a year, a couple of thousand represents basically nothing. Toyota has pitched solid state batteries now since 2014, when it said at the time it had a working prototype which would go into production within a few years. They've said that this is a breakthrough technology and that it will power their next generation of advanced long range electric vehicles, which will land in only a couple of years, 2026. Well, in reality, the first batch of commercial batteries will be enough to supply only a couple of thousand vehicles, says Automotive News. And mass production planned to start in 2030 will support just several tens of thousands. So Toyota has told us that mass production would begin in 2026. Well, now it turns out it won't begin until 2030. But considering Toyota said mass production would actually begin in 2018 and then 2021, and then honestly, I don't think it's ever very likely to happen. I honestly think Tesla's more likely to solve for self-driving uh, than what Toyota are to ever produce solid state batteries themselves. Other companies will. It won't be Toyota though. The figures newly detailed in a post by Toyota's in-house media mouthpiece, as in themselves, the Toyota Times underscores the limited initial impact of solid state technology despite its promise, despite its promise for more than 10 years from Toyota. So Toyota have just, I'm sure you all know this, they said 2026 is the year, they're all going to be here, solid state batteries, we're going to have them in several different EVs. Now it turns out Toyota is saying, just quietly notes 2030. And even then, it's only gonna be a few thousand of them. Yeah. Toyota announced last month it would team with Japanese petrochemical giant Itamitsu Kosan to commercialize the advanced battery technology in the 2027 to 2028 timeframe, paving the way for what they called full-scale mass production in 2030 and beyond. It turns out full-scale mass production in 2030 will be limited to, they're saying maybe a maximum of 20,000. 
Now, if Toyota is still around as a big company in 2030, which I have my doubts will be the case, then 20,000 battery packs is literally nothing for a company that is today selling 10, 10 million vehicles. Itamitsu will focus on developing a sulfide solid electrolyte that enables high energy capacity and high power output. A large scale pilot plant will start producing it in the 2027 fiscal year. Now that paragraph in and of itself coming directly from Toyota ex exposes the company completely. It's such bullshit that they can get away with this and the, the global stock exchanges don't care. They just let Toyota make this stuff up. I mean, on the one hand, they're saying we don't even have a prototype yet. I mean, they just said, their company are focusing on developing a sulfide solid electrolyte. So they don't even have the specific, whatever it is going to be, so-called sulfide solid electrolyte. They they're developing it. I mean, how then can they guarantee this vehicle, this battery is going to be in production in 2027 if they haven't even developed the electrolyte for it yet? I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It's absolutely mental that Toyota can say this kind of stuff. I mean, in America, right, we've got, We've got several solid state battery companies who have been working on batteries. They actually have the product. I mean, they <laughs> they give you the actual diagrams. This is how we make it. This is how many layers it has. This is what's in each layer. This is the chemistry we're using. Uh, and they're very, very, very transparent, as transparent as they can be on the product. Toyota has never done that. We don't know what's in their batteries. I don't think it's, I think it's because Toyota doesn't know what's in them either. Anyway, that operation will have an initial annual capacity for several hundred tons, whatever that means from Automotive News, but Itamitsu plans to start mass production in 2030 by boosting annual output to several thousand tons, the Toyota Times reported. The website originally said that that is enough for over 10,000 vehicles. <laughs> when the media called them out on this saying, hang on a minute, you told us a totally different story last year, Toyota citing a translation error in its original report later amended the figure to several tens of thousands several tens of thousands. Yeah, okay. A Toyota spokesperson said the volume figure was derived by calculating the production capacity for the electrolyte against the target amount needed in each battery cell and in each vehicle to achieve the desired performance. But like I said, they don't even know what the electrolyte they're gonna be using is. The result was a few ten thousands, the spokeswoman said. When we say mass production, the volume we have in mind is more than a few thousands per year. So. When Toyota says mass production, it means more than a few thousands per year. Yeah. Uh, you know, this has come out. The media has said nothing. This report's been out for days now. They're just like, oh, whatever. This Toyota, they can say whatever they want. Doesn't matter. Successful development of all solid state batteries is considered critical to unlocking the potential of full EVs per Toyota by enabling much longer ranges in smaller, lighter packages, which is. Toyota's trump card. It's completely not true. We've already got it. It's already here today, the technology we need. We have uh, super, super high de energy density batteries. Um, the cheering battery from CHL has an energy density of about 350 watts per kilogram. That's more than enough. We never need anything better than that ever. We'll get better than that. We're going to get better versions of that same battery pack and other ba similar battery chemistries from other manufacturers within the next, next year and the following year. But we don't actually need better than what that is. And we've got the Shensink battery, the LFP battery pack that can charge at 550 kilowatt speeds. Uh, it's the same price as existing cheapest batteries in the world, around 50 to $60 per kilowatt hour, meaning that it's cheaper in theory to make an EV than what it is to make an internal combustion engine vehicle with those batteries. Those batteries are incredibly fast charging, higher energy density than previous LFP batteries. Uh, they are basically in the cold, have no issues whatsoever, minus 30 degrees. They operate perfectly well. We have what we need. We don't need these mythical batteries from Toyota. The batteries, which have a ceramic-like electrolyte instead of a liquid one, are much more energy dense, says Toyota, and faster charging. And they're considered safer than today's liquid electrolyte lithium ion batteries, which set fire to themselves at a far lower rate than internal combustion engine vehicles. And lithium ion phosphate batteries are inherently much, much safer. Solid state batteries are viewed as especially beneficial in sports cars and big SUVs. Now that's why Toyota believes that EVs can't work until we have solid state batteries. The batteries are scheduled to arrive per Toyota in time to help Toyota achieve its goal of selling 3.5 million electrified vehicles worldwide in 2030. Now, I believe that 3.5 million, it's not actually EVs. 
it's electrified vehicles. So that's a combination of hybrids and fully electric cars. But basically Toyota is saying in 2030, they're gonna sell 6.5 million internal combustion vehicles. That's almost as ridiculous as their solid state battery plants. But it remains a challenge per automotive news to manufacture solid state batteries at scale while maintaining quality. Toyota is developing the advanced battery technology at its Telho factory in Toyota City, where it previewed its efforts to journalists last month. Toyota plans two versions of all solid state batteries. The first will arrive, they say, around, around 2027 to 2028. Like I said, they don't even have an electrolyte for that yet. But anyway, Toyota targets a range of more than 621 miles or 1,000 kilometers for that particular battery and predicts it will charge from 10 to 80 percent in 10 minutes. I should point out we already have batteries today, mass manufactured, that can charge at those speeds. That's the Shenzhen battery that Tesla uh, will license in the US, I believe Ford and General Motors will as well, to manufacture them in America. That's the real world anyway. Let's get back to fantasy. The second will arrive after that at an, at an unspecified date. Toyota has said it will have a range exceeding 745 miles. It admits it has been working on the fundamentals of solid state batteries since 2001, it says, while Toyota began its own R&D in 2006. So it's been 18 years and there isn't even a prototype. Well, they said they had a prototype in 2014, but no one ever saw it. The two began jointly researching sulfide-based solid electrolytes in 2013. Toyota delivered a prototype well, they say they did, vehicle powered by solid state batteries in 2020 with its LQ pod car. Now, I've got to point out, no one knows it was really powered by solid state batteries. But mass producing the batteries with sufficient speed and quality is apparently very, very complex. The world's largest automaker is hardly alone in pursuing this technology. In Japan, Honda is building a pilot line for solid state batteries and banking on the technology to power its transition to being a combustion free automaker by 2040. Nissan has announced plans to blow, uh, to spend about $1.2 billion in developing solid state batteries on the way to bringing them to market in, well, they said 2026, but now they're saying 2028. They start pilot production in 2024. Guys, I'm curious, do you believe Honda, Nissan, or Toyota? Let me know what you think. I clearly don't. Uh, I'd be shocked if anyone other than hardcore fans did, but maybe I'm just being a pessimist here, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.